Hey everyone, I'm Madonna. It's two months into 2024 and I'd love to recommend a book to all of you. That is The Mindset by Carol S. Dweck. So this book mainly talks about two main mindsets. That is the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. Now what's the difference between the fixed mindset and the growth mindset? So in the fixed mindset, we have a constant urge to prove ourselves each and every time. So what happens is the fixed mindset is a mindset that we think uh, the qualities or the talent, the intelligence, all that we have is innate and uh, we cannot develop any new skill or cultivate any new skills. So this is uh, the fixed mindset. Uh, We constantly evaluate our life in every situation. Is like in every situation we keep asking ourselves will I be accepted will I be rejected am I good enough or is it worth it so we keep questioning ourselves we keep evaluating every situation in our life and this is the fixed mindset now the growth mindset the growth mindset is the belief that uh, we have in ourselves that we can cultivate any new skill, any talent, uh, or we can cultivate uh, the basic qualities in ourselves. And we can cultivate it through effort, through process, and by help from others. So growth mindset is a belief that we can cultivate them. And uh, not like, unlike the fixed mindset, it's not that, oh, I can't do it, but yes, I can through effort. That is the growth mindset. Now a question arises that, uh in fixed mind uh, in growth mindset that uh, oh if we can cultivate anything then can we be beethoven or einstein through our efforts definitely not there are some talents that are innate or born like some people may be good at singing some may be good at dancing but some might not be because that is innate talent but other than the innate talent there are certain skills that we can cultivate in ourselves through effort hard work and uh, from help uh, help from others so these are the main two differences between the fixed mindset and the growth mindset now let's talk about views uh, um, fixed mindset and growth mindset so I'll give you an example that's from the book Uh, a child uh, a child goes to school and it's his result day so he receives his report card and it's a C plus Now he is very disappointed and frustrated on getting a C plus uh, for his exams, for his marks. Now what happens is he is frustrated, disappointed. Now on his way back home, he misses his bus. Even more frustrated, he goes back home, he is very upset and he uh, calls his friend to, uh, you know, vent out all his uh, sadness. Now what happens is his friend is busy. A uh, friend won't pick up the call. So now the child with the fixed mindset is so frustrated that he just gives up on everything. He's like, I'm done. I'm so done. I can't do this anymore. I can't study. I'm not good at anything. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can improve myself. Life has given up on me. So why should I uh, keep on trying? That's the mindset of the uh, child with the fixed uh, mindset. Now. The same thing happens to a child with a growth growth mindset, okay? Uh, He goes to school and uh, uh, he gets a C plus and on his way back home he misses his bus and then he tries to call his friend, his friend is missing. But here the attitude to all these things, the response of this kid with a growth mindset to all these things is entirely different from the attitude and response of the child with a fixed mindset. Now what's the difference? The child with his growth mindset sees everything in a positive manner. He's like he got a C plus. Oh no, I got a C plus. I've done bad in my exams. Now I have to find out where did I go wrong. Where should I improve myself? I have to listen to the teachers. I know I can do it. I know I can improve myself because this is just an exam. This is just a test. If I would have studied well, I could have done it better. But I didn't. And about missing the bus, uh, he also has a positive attitude towards that. That is, uh, I missed my bus today because I was late, frustrated. Tomorrow I won't. Like, or, or today I missed my bus. 
oh what's the problem one day no no problem tomorrow i won't that's the attitude that child has and in the second uh, third case that's the calling the friend and friend not giving any response he'll be like the friend might be busy because we all got our report card he might be showing his parents his report card so definitely uh he won't be able to pick up my calls no worries tomorrow at school i can tell him uh, why i called him i was upset so i just wanted to share uh uh what i wanted to say so so that's the thing with a fixed mindset and growth mindset that's a difference between a person who has a fixed mindset and a growth mindset and i think that uh in our life somewhere we all have a fixed mindset even i have had fixed mindset after reading this book i realized that at many places i've had a fixed mindset so now what should we do we should allow ourselves we should open ourselves we should allow ourselves to grow we should allow us uh, ourselves to have a growth mindset because when we have the growth mindset we can we are open we can do whatever we want we can improve ourselves we are not just uh, uh this much we can be this much see so the thing is we are not limited to anything so uh we have to improve ourselves daily on a daily basis and yes uh it is hard to move from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset but slowly slowly understanding ourselves that we can develop and uh, putting effort process and yes uh we have to allow ourselves to grow and uh, this book mindset i recommend all of you to buy this book this is a must read for everyone